<laughs> my husband's a New York Jet fan. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to What Chelsea Eats. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I just wanna give you a little bit of update about what's been going on over here. I haven't done one of these in a long time. The people that are in my membership, they hear about my stuff all the time. And I'll never get to talk to you all about it. And I, um, don't want to make this video long or anything like that but the one big thing i want to share is back in 2020 when right when the pandemic happened i realized i was actually going through perimenopause and i didn't rec recognize it really probably until the end of 2022 beginning of 2023 because things was just things were just changing in my body I, I wasn't sick or anything like that I wasn't but just things were changing like I would like like I would gain weight just like that like like if somebody blew on me I was gaining weight even eating a healthy diet it's just been like a, a rough a rough <laughs> three years, let's put it like that, three years until I have figured some things out. I'm actually potentially thinking about doing something here in the future. I have not map mapped it out because a lot of you have said, I'm going through perimenopause and I need help, I need help. And everybody is so uniquely different with their reasons for their perimenopausal symptoms because Really, I think, this is my belief, I believe that we're supposed to sail through perimenopause, menopause, without a whole bunch of symptoms, without being beat to death with hot flashes and, and you know, all the, all the mess that comes um, when you're not balanced. So I have some tips that I have learned over this last probably year, year and a half that is helping me. I will be sharing some of that stuff with you. If you if you feel like this is something that you would want to know and you want me to share about, I will be happy to share this with you because you do not have to suffer with sleep problems, with hot flashes. I'm telling you, one of the main things that happened actually when I turned 50, I started itching. My whole body started itching. I was, uh, my husband and I had gone to Las Vegas, not the strip Las Vegas for my 50th birthday, but I just wanted to go to Las Vegas because when I was in health coaching school, my um, graduation was in Las Vegas. And I had stayed at this resort um, and it was so wonderful. And I wanted my husband to come at the time, but at the time, for some reason, I think he was traveling for work or it was like something crazy where he just couldn't go with me. And I stayed there and I wanted to go again because I wanted him to experience it. So we, we're in Las Vegas, we're having a great time and my birthday is in March. And so all of a sudden I started itching, like from head to toe like you know the type of itching you scratch and you scratch and you scratch and nothing changes it's just you're itching that's what happened to me so i was like i got it am i allergic to something what <laughs> like i like haven't had that problem but one of the things that happened to my mother when she was in her early 40s she started itching from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet and it turned out that she had a liver problem and she ended up getting a liver transplant when she was 43 but anyway so i was thinking i was like i couldn't possibly have a liver problem like what's going on so i bought like the benadryl and then i thought i can only use that at night i will be asleep during the day if i take the benadryl and i wanted to enjoy my birthday so <laughs> I ended up going to the pharmacist and saying, hey, this is what's happening. She said, take Claritin or something. And y'all know how I feel about medicine, but I was desperate. So I took the medicine and it helped. And the thing about Claritin, what I found is, is you have to get it in your system like over a day or so for it to actually start working. But it, it helped ease the itching to the point where I was actually able to enjoy my, my um, birthday and everything. But 
I was like, where is this coming from? But one of the things the pharmacist said was, don't be taking this stuff too long and not realize where the, uh, where the problem is coming in. She said, you might have a liver problem. So I'm like, liver problem? I, I, I buy that right now in Jesus' name. I don't have any liver problems. You know, this is what's going on in my head. So of course I didn't have a liver problem. I went to the doctors, got my liver enzymes checked, all the stuff they do with the liver, got them checked and nothing was wrong with my liver. It was perimenopause that brought that on. So I went through a whole thing where I got rid of um, the itching, like I'm not itching anymore. It took me a minute to figure it out, but I did. But I just bring that up because it is just one of those things that happened to me during this whole perimenopausal thing. Lots of stuff happened to me and I will share that with you if you want to hear about it because I know a lot of you aren't in perimenopause, but you some of you are, but perimenopause can start at age 35, like 35 years old, all the way to like 65, 60, something like that. Believe it or not, there are still people who are menstruating in their 60s haven't stopped menstruating and um so so there's that <laughs> so that's happened I have a third grandchild she was just born a couple weeks ago which I'm so excited she is absolutely beautiful I wish I could show her to you but my son is like no you're not putting my daughter on the internet but so that's okay maybe one day Maybe one day my um, young, my oldest grandson, he used to cook in the kitchen with me and my daughter used to allow me to put him on video. So if you see some really old videos of me, you'll see my, um, my oldest grandson. But anyway, so I've had a, a third grandchild and I'm absolutely in love with her. She is so beautiful. Um, the last thing, not the last thing, but another thing that has happened is I have a new coaching program that is coming out in January, which I'm so excited about. It's replacing the 90 day program and it's called the Fibroid Detox Collective. It's where a group of women get together and they are trying to accomplish the same goal, which is heal womb issues or shrink fibroids, however you want to look at it, because the womb issues pretty much have the same root. They're just diff they're just different. They manifest themselves different. So somebody might have cysts, somebody might have endometriosis, somebody might have fibroids. It doesn't matter. It's a womb issue and it needs to be healed. So that's coming in January. If you are interested in learning more about that, there is a link down in the description box where you can be notified when the information is available and the information will be available um, in December. Um, so you'll be able to get that information so that you can plan. Um, I'm also gonna be offering a coupon code for anybody who joins before the first of the year. So you'll get a, a discount for that. I'm not sure what the discount is yet. I will be announcing that coming soon. If you're not able to do the coaching program, because some of you have been like, when's the coaching program? When's the coaching program? When's the coaching program? And I'm like, I'm trying to get it situated as, as, you know, as quickly as I possibly can. But sometimes, you know, yeah, but it is, it's ready. It's just I'm putting the final touches on the landing pages and all that stuff. And then I'll be in sending the information out to you soon. But if those of you who don't want coaching, like the 90 day group coaching type thing, if you don't want that and you still want to know what you can do to help you shrink these fibroids, the fibroid detox on demand, I'm sorry, fibroid detox workshop on demand is available. It's down in the description box below this video. You can go and download that right now and get all the information you need to help you to shrink the fibroids from, you know, set, you know, getting yourself started all the way through everything you're supposed to eat, what herbs and supplements you should take. Everything is in that workshop on demand so it is available for purchase the links down below i still do one-on-one -on -one sessions i don't think that somebody who is in terrible shape with fibroids can benefit from one session 
But if you just want to schedule a session with me, just to talk to me to get some of your questions answered, I do write protocols in those first sessions, so I will send you a protocol. But most of the time, what I find in women is they'll get that protocol and they they have trouble carrying it out because they are um, alone. They're like in a lonely island. And I understand because that's what happened to me when I first just started this journey, journey. It was difficult without community. And back whenever I first started, there was really not that many people talking about this topic. So anyway, I just want to say, if you do want a coaching session, the information is down below. Um, I suggest if you just want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching, you know, plan on doing a series of them like 12 10 to 12 so that you can have help every week if that is what you want to do and if some if you do want to do a series just um email well you can sign up for your first one and then we can decide what the best option is for you going forward for one-on-one -on -one coaching the other thing i wanted to ask you is what would you like to see going forward next year um, my goal was to get on and pray for you all at least once a month, but for sometimes, sometimes, and I, it could have been the enemy just fighting me on it, but my schedule would be just like, I couldn't do it at the time that I was supposed to do it. It was just, it's just kind of like, it was weird. Now I do pray for you all in the, you know, in my personal time, but I also want to get on live and pray for you too, because I think that that is a huge benefit to my healing sisters out there who, you know, are fighting this good fight because it's not easy. Um, some of you have uh, messaged me and told me what your situations are and it's not pretty for some of you. And I think a lot of you need support. And that's why I'm create. that's why I created the, the new fiber detox collective as well. But anyway, I just wanted to just come and just say that I was thinking about you and I just wanted to give you an update. It has been a rough three years trying to figure out this whole perimenopausal thing. And I think I got it licked. Um, so let's see what happens. Let's see what happens over this next year. Um, I will be sharing, like I said, my tips and tricks, tricks, if that's something that you are interested in, but let me pray for you. But let me pray for you. Since I didn't, haven't had a chance to pray for you in the last couple of months during a live session, let me pray for you. So Father, in Jesus' name, I lift up my sisters to you, God, and I just ask you right now that you would come and meet her where she is, God. I pray that whatever she is in need of, that you would supply that need for her. I pray that you would cause healing to happen in her body, in her relationships, in her mind, in her everything that her hand touches, that you would cause favor to happen, God. And I pray that you would give her instruction and direction on how she which way she is supposed to go with whatever it is that she is dealing with in her life and god i thank you that you are the healer and that when we call out to you you answer us and that um when we ask you for something that you you come with and you do exceeding exceedingly and abundantly above all we could ask or imagine and lord i pray that you would strengthen the faith of my daughter my sisters as they are uh, walking this journey, Lord God, and I pray that each any person that is supposed to join me in the Fibroid Detox Collective, that you would provide a way for them to do that, Lord God, and I pray, Lord God, that you would just um, cause healing to come, cause healing to come, and if there's anything blocking healing, Lord, I pray you would reveal that, and you would help your daughters to, that you would help your daughters to, um, that you would give her instructions on how to move past those blocks now in the name of Jesus. So ladies, I speak life and blessings over you, healing over you, and I'm looking forward to talking to you all soon. Take care.